very pleased to introduce our third finalist, and she is Shen Liang Tseng, Tseng sorry, from Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences, and she's going to be talking about, is black carbon a culprit of the severe drought in the western United States? This is Farmer Cha. During the recent severe drought in California, his 20 acres dried up due to his well being evaporated from the drought, being from the high heat. As a result, he lost his crops and his income. As a state, California loses up to $8 billion each year with this drought. In such a crippling condition, we asked ourselves, is it possible that a man-made air pollutant can be a culprit to this drought by reducing rainfall? In order to answer this question, we, asked, we studied the, the process between rain formation and black carbon, a major air pollutant. Black carbon is the exhaust that comes out of our coal-fired power plants, our airplanes, our diesel trucks, and our car engines. It's a special air pollutant in that it has the ability to prevent clouds from growing into rain. You see, in a clean environment, the cloud droplets that we have are full of water, which is easily grows into raindrops in humid conditions. But in a polluted environment with black carbon, these particles itself competes for that same precious water, making each, carb each cloud drop smaller. And these cloud drops that are smaller is then less likely to grow into rain. An example analogy of this is like saying we wanted to grow more trees in a certain amount of land, but we kept the amount of soil or fertilizer the same. We might end up with more trees, but those trees, only a few of them will be strong enough to bear fruit. In the current atmospheric science research field, the research on black carbon and rain formation has been for the global scale. Now, this doesn't mean that we know information for every point on the globe. This actually means that we don't know for every point on the globe or any point. For us in the Western United States, where we're suffering through this drought, this does us no good. So we need something more, we need something more specific. So in my research, I focused on black carbon and rain formation specifically for the Western United States. We used an updated and region-specific black carbon data set coupled with a state-of-the-art weather model, like a souped-up version of the weather models that television meteorologists use to study rainfall. In doing so, we found that black carbon can actually reduce rain by up to 50% in the summer months. Now this tells us that we must invest in clean energy and clean engines, because if we don't, farmers like Farmer Cha will continue to suffer, and in the long term, so will all of us. Thank you. <laughs> 